Hey, you don't, don't knock to come in your own place. Good, good, good. Like good, 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 good. Excited as always. Thank you. Well, so, thank you. Yeah, no, it's thank you. <laughs> it's weird that he's thanking me. The first procedure I had was the 360 body lift. For me, it takes a lot to trust to go to a surgeon. Uh, I don't do this all the time, although I've done it three times. Um, but I was desperate, you know, because I, I worked really hard. I would lose weight, all these things. I had burn, bad burn scars, a lot of issues going on. And no matter how, how hard I would work, I wouldn't look the way I feel. You know, I'd feel, oh great, I put all this work, and I'm talking about years. And you don't look that way, and it's very disappointing. And you throw burn scars on top of that and other issues, and it was really, really difficult. So I started Googling, it started with liposuction, skin removal, and one thing led to another. It was a deep rabbit hole. So I had to go through that first, and thank goodness I found him. Actually, some of the testimonies Dr. Katzen had, another gentleman who had a 360 body lift, and I could um, see things in him within myself, or things he was going through. And I don't know, just something about the vibe I got, the sense, it gave me more um, comfort, you know, and uh, ultimately confidence. And it took me about two months till I reached out. I was watching those videos for over two months. And as soon as I met Dr. Katzen, you know, he talked very different from a prior surgeon. Uh, he has, he has a way of looking at it. It's not just surgery, it's, it really is like a craft, you know? Because when you're dealing with skin and 360 body lifts, you pull on one place another and you got burn scars, all these other things to really make your, I mean, pardon the expression, to fit like a glove. Uh, he gets it, he gets it enough to the point where I was confident enough and I committed and did it. I was hopeful, but I had no idea what was gonna be the outcome. And the outcome was dramatically, drastically life-changing. Beyond the point of the, that I simply felt better, I looked better. It did things to me over two years that I, I'm not the same person. You know, I still am, but I'm, I'm a different person in a much more positive way. They say the mind and body, they're, they're attached. Well, I had the mind, but when, when your body looks a certain way because of certain circumstances, that's very hard to connect. At least it was for me. I'm here now over two years later after the, the first one and uh i have a wonderful rapport like uh, with dr katzen and the staff like family they're like family you know i don't talk with them the way i did when i first came in it's it's a very different dialogue i'm wearing sunglasses and a hat not to hide but understand that my life has changed so much that i wanted to uh, keep uh, and i looked up the word a certain degree of anonymity because i like my life and i like my privacy but i'm doing this video now just just like the other gentleman inspired me with Dr. Katzen. If it helps in any way to, to, for them to know this and maybe approach and get help that way, then, then I hope it does some good, you know? I uh, just want to kind of pay it back that way if I can. <laughs> it's, it's great to uh, tell other people that may be watching and maybe in your shoes before the surgery going, I don't know, you know, I had a procedure and now I want something more. Is it yeah. possible? It's possible. Absolutely. So earlier we were talking about how amazing it is because he's walking around on the street at 45 years old and people are seeing his six pack through his shirt, complimenting cool. him. That's awesome. He's getting cat called at 45 years old from his abs. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could say it's made up. It's not. That, that's true. Cool. And my kid was like, hey, Papa, what? they're staring at you. What's going on? And uh, my nephew was like, Oh, it's because he's got the muscles. He sees his stomach. They said it, and I just, it just I'm, I'm not trying to, but it's the truth. Yeah, I didn't even cool. notice. I just like, you know, my kid was like kind of weirded out for a second. Like, oh, they're really staring at you. <laughs> like, that's good. But yeah, thank you. Good, Sarah. No problem. <laughs> There's exercises that I was doing for years. I could not see what it was doing to me. I just knew I was, I guess I was feeling better, more in shape, right? I can physically see what it's doing to me as I'm doing to it, and I can really tune it in now. We get that a lot, you know, we get a lot of physical trainers, we uh, had one today, physical trainer, that just can't get the results they want. And you know, they can lift all the time and do the machines all the time and do all this work, cut their calories and cutting weight, trying to gain muscle mass, and it just doesn't happen, it just doesn't pop. Not in all the cases, but a subset of patients, it just doesn't happen. So that's where we can come in as plastic surgeons and apply this Vaser technology to really hone in and define a lot of these muscle groups, whether 
whether it's the deltoid and the shoulder, biceps and triceps and the upper arm, or maybe we're doing the chest work or the six pack abs, but it really definitely absolutely works. You can sort of see where what I did, getting this nice chiseled out deltoid. Uh, you can see really see his triceps pop and his biceps pop here by removing the fat in this area and around the elbow right in there. When it tightened, the, the vein was a lot more popular. Uh, yeah, All so these other uh, extra these cherries added, on top. Yeah. Added perks, but basically yeah. there is a minuscule amount of fat, but uh, it's all been chiseled out between the muscle insertions. I also chisel out between the biceps and the triceps in this little groove right in there, and uh, that sort of accentuates the whole model. So there, yeah. there's perfect triceps back here. Uh, there you go, boom, see that? Beautiful. I was an excellent candidate because he's dedicated to the cause. You know, mm -hmm. he's dialed into, look, you know, I want to look as great as I can look. I'm willing to exercise for it. I'm willing to eat right for it. And uh, that combination, that set, he brings even before to the office. So a patient's of that commitment to their body is tremendous and it will impact their surgery and then their results. So at first he came in with a tummy tuck from another plastic surgeon. I'd never seen him before that tummy tuck, but that was sort of our baseline. That was our canvas. That was the ball that was thrown to me. Okay? Yeah. So I caught that ball and I'm like, okay, I looked at the ball. Okay, how do we make this better? So we can make it better yeah. by revising that tummy tuck scar which we did. And then we also converted the tummy tuck into a body lift going yeah. all the way around. And then we also chiseled out the uh, six pack on his abs. Yeah, and he's being nice about it too though, because yeah, he helped revise that. But I remember I had this weird lopsided skin thing going on when they put me back on. And it was like, well, what's worse? I had a gut before, but now I, I, I don't have the gut, but there's not shape to it. And on top of that, I got this lopsided thing going on. It's like, you know, it can't win. But he, he fixed that in spade and, and I had nasty burn scars, you know? Mm, yeah. But I still don't get how, I, I get it what you explained to me all these times, but I still don't get how you got the part that's burned to fit over me the way I, I'm touching here. It's like, I feel the contours. Right. I never thought that was not only that, it, it, I just didn't believe that was even a possibility to be honest. So I, I don't know. If I would have known as an absolute, like, hey, go this direction. It may not be easy, but I promise you, if you put in the work, you're gonna look the way you're working, okay? It would have made it a lot less stressful, a lot more fun, and it's not so scary. It's really not that bad. Just reach out your hand with the right people like Dr. Katzen and, and you can get there, absolutely. So this is our patient uh, before. He had previously had a tummy tuck. So one of the things we did is we revised the scar. So that's a little bit lower down. And then we did this uh, Vaser High Def six pack, chiseling out the linea alba, that's the line in the middle, semilunaris lines on the sides, and then getting these horizontal insertions. And I also really worked hard on his obliques right in here. And basically this is just skin on muscle now. There is no fat underneath here, it's just skin on muscle. Look at that, that's all muscle, solid muscle. Obviously, I'm very happy. I, I still look at it and, and it's just hard to believe that it's really me. Uh, and I think it's that's the you see the physical, but the mental part is catching up. And as it does and it settles, it's just more and more positive things beyond the physical, you know, occurring like I try to convey. But yeah, I I, I see it. It's hard to believe. It's it's yeah, but I've there done you it. go. I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks well, for no, joining not, us. Not, no, my pleasure and yeah, never thanks goodbye. For yeah. Telling the world about your results. Yeah, and if I could, just one last thing. Yeah. You saw the photo there of me before, physically, right? But when I see that photo, that's part of the thing I'm saying that's, that's scary is that take the physical, the visual aspect of that. I never want to be there again, emotionally or mentally. That scares me more than the physical part. You know, that's how it all comes comes together. Yeah. And that's where you asked me, like, I can't, Dr. K, I can't thank you enough. Sincerely, thank you. This has been, uh, to say life-changing is an understatement and I, I'll always be grateful. So thank yeah, you so thank much. You. You're very, very welcome. Wonderful patient and uh, glad we could help you out. Oh, that, yeah, that you guys did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. I knew right away I met, I, I hit it off with him. I had no idea what he was about to do at the level he did. And I'm lucky. Like I felt like running into Dr. Katzen for doing this kind of stuff. Like I hit the lottery. I'm not kidding you. I could never thank him enough, you know. And I, I always hope to anything I, I could help him. I I, I would want to. Um, but just simply thank you so much for changing my life in the best way possible. Yeah, and everything that comes with it.